With us now is the vivacious Elaine Turner. How are you? Hey, good. Thanks for talking to me. I've seen people walk on the carpet, but you have a bounce of happiness <laughs> in your step. <laughs> well, you know, I'm from Texas, so uh, we get a little perky down there. <laughs> You know, Texas is known for big hair and high fashion, right? And, and so tell us about your experience of being, you know, a college student there and how the transformation went from being a young woman of influence to the superstar that you are now. Wow. I, that's so nice of you to say. But I think that, you know, it was a very organic journey. And I feel like that I always knew that I was creative and I felt like that was my passion. And growing up, my parents always encouraged me to really be myself and pursue my creativity. And so fashion is really how that's all manifested. So Now, when you had clothes that you would buy at the store, were you the girl that was always, like, cutting off the sleeves and, like, bedazzling them? I, I just have to know. Put it this way. I spent a lot of hours in my mother's closet, right? And got in a lot of trouble because I always had all her stuff on her wig. Wigs, everything. You know, from Texas, my mom was Miss Glamour Queen. So, you know, it was definitely instilled me at a young age to express my creativity through fashion. And, you know, a lot of people can look at fashion and kind of sort of think of it as a little bit frivolous, but in my family, it was really a form of self expression. And, you know, we really looked up to it as that's kind of your individualism, is how you dress and how you, you know, appear. And so. Now, do you create one of a kind things for yourself? Do you like? Do you like? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. do you design something? You say, okay, that's only for me, yeah. and that's okay that's if you do. Off. That's my no. I mean, very rarely, but occasionally I will. And some of my factories like will tweak something and make it kind of special for me, especially if it's something that I knew that wouldn't really translate, you know, to more to the mass market. But yeah, occasionally. But you know, those days are a little bit over. I've got to be like very frugal and practical now in my older age. <laughs> How did you find out that you won this uh, honor? Well, Laura and I met up actually about a year ago here in New York, and we did an event on my Madison Avenue store for TJ Martell. And so my company does a lot of charity work, and we're very much focused on cancer organizations. My mom is a breast cancer survivor. So we've done a Houston event for TJ Martell and a New York event. So we're just connected. And right when I met her, she's also a fellow Texan. We were just had that like-minded, philanthropic foundation. And that's really what it's all about, is using fashion to change lives and create a higher purpose for all this because it can't just be about beautiful things it's really got to be about transforming people I agree it's kind of like I feel like now I'm going to be 50 June 3rd and I feel like I'm now hitting my stride and I feel like being on a playground you know with kids that you like that you get along with you're all doing good things as a kid I feel like this is like an adult playground yeah. right where you're just like living life you surround yourself with those people who have that like-minded value system and who also I think want to do something for the greater good who have that humanity aspect otherwise life gets very hollow you know we all got to come together and ultimately I think we're all connected I really believe that so I sincerely do and I can't wait to wear one of your fashions I'm like I'm like back to fashion well you know October 1st um, I'm gonna be working with them again for their big gala and maybe you would like work with me because I'm never I'm never good at knowing what to wear so yeah, oh, I would love to you come see me at our store and we'll totally get you going for I would like that okay stay tuned for All more right. on live it up thanks